Hello. This is a requested video. Somebody's been watching through my, my other videos and they wanted to know with my medium sized bag, which is this, um, where I came about all of these words and verses and stuff. So, and I thought, that is a good question. I, I find them from so many different places. So she asked if I could go through my bag and, and talk about it. So, so this is in response to that request. All right, so this, this little section here, then these longer ones, oh heavens, this was hysterical. <laughs> My son-in-law gave me this sheet of, of these stupid sayings from famous people. <laughs> and so these, these are some of the ones that were on the sheet. Outside of killings, Washington has the one of the lowest crime rates in the country. And Mayor Marion Barian, Barry from Washington, D.C. said that. Outside of the killings, Washington has the lowest crime rates in the country. So he's right. That's definitely stupid. This one says, we've got to pause and ask ourselves, how much clean air do we really need? <laughs> Lee Lacoca said that. This one says, half this game is 90% mental. Philadelphia Phillies manager Danny Ozark said that, that half this game is 90% mental. Okay, this one says, whenever I watch TV and see those poor starving kids all over the world, I can't help but cry. I mean, <clears throat> I'd love to be skinny like that, but not with all those, all those flies and death and stuff. Mariah Carey said that. I've never had major knee surgery on any other part of my body. <laughs> Winston Bennett from the University of Kentucky basketball forward. This one says, it isn't pollution that's harming the environment. It's the impurities in our air and water that are doing it. Al Gore, when he was vice president, said that. Alrighty. Whenever I watch TV, okay, I've already read that one. I'm not going to have, okay, I'm not going to have some reporters pawing through our papers. We are the president. Hillary Clinton said that, commenting on the release of subpoena documents. We are the president. That's the same thing. Okay, here's another one. Oh, this was the name of the, the sheet, brain cramps. Question, if you could live forever, would you and why? The Answer by Miss Alabama Bama in 1994 from the Miss USA contest said, I would not live forever because we should not live forever because if we were supposed to live forever, then we would live forever. And we cannot live forever, which is why I would not live forever. <laughs> All right, this one. That low down scoundrel deserves to be kicked to death by a jackass, and I'm just the one to do it. The congressional candidate in Texas said that. <laughs> so you know what he's calling himself. Okay, that's the, the air one I already read, and yep, that's the jackass one. All right, so that's where those came from, brain cramps. I don't know where he found this list. I would assume, knowing him, he probably found it online somewhere but I've been going through those and putting those in the senior cards and they've been enjoying those. So, all right, these ones here, fa the, these are called Faith Steps and these are actually from uh, this magazine, Beside the Still Water. Somebody has graciously set, put my name in and uh, for receiving these, these little booklets each month. And they are wonderful little wonderful little blurps. There's there's um, little, the faith steps, there's scriptures, there's little stories and stuff, there's quotes in here, there's there's um, scriptures that you want, that you can read. So, and I love that. So as I'm going through reading them myself, then I take the book apart and I cut, cut the little things out. So that way they're getting, you know, maybe a faith step, which is this, or maybe a that's another face step. Or right here, this this is what I like to do with the bigger part of it, is I fold it all up 
and then I stick it in the corner of an envelope because I recycle my envelopes. So that's where these all come from. So see, I don't, don't think you realize what kind of question you were asking, did, did you? <laughs> all right, these are more of the same thing from those quotes. Oh, okay, here's another brain, brain uh, cramp. Smoking kills. If you're killed, you've lost a very important part of your life. Brooke Shields said that during an interview to become spokesperson for the federal anti-smoking campaign. Campaign. All right. So this one here, open here for some super extra special happy mail. This was on an envelope that I received, and I put double stick tape on the back because I loved it. So I'm going to recycle that. This piece here was from my my woman's. Um, circular from my women's group from church and it's just a, a little scripture um, let's see oh these are these are actually from <laughs> Easter egg die kit and you're supposed to wrap it around the egg and we didn't use these and so I've still got a couple of them hanging around obviously so and I'm just going to use them on cards so this again was another piece of a an envelope somebody stamped this on the envelope for me and so I cut that off and saved it. These are from the women's, my women's um, sheet from church, which I just cut the strips off and then I glued them on a little piece of card, uh, black cardboard. This was from um, a junk mail. It came in the junk mail. It was on a bookmark that came with junk mail. So I cut that out so I can recycle it. And the same with this. Um, these, I've dealt with that one already. These ones here, I've got a whole bunch of these back here, and what I've done with those, whoops, we've already read through that, and that one, okay. What these are is I just went through and I just typed up some words and little sayings, and however they printed, they printed, because I don't, I don't understand how to go in and set it so that it's all wrapping around the right way. I don't understand the program that's on. I used to word, use WordPerfect years ago. But since I haven't been in an office in, in many years, um, I haven't had the need to keep up with all of this. But this is, these are just comments and whatever, like, um, how has someone been kind to you? Be forgiving, be silly, be goofy, be courageous, be you. Collect beautiful moments, share laughter, share love, share hugs, share smiles. Um, and so they just all say different things. Faith is a mustard seed. Have faith, believe, faith is hope. Slow down, don't just eat, taste. Enjoy today, be brave. And what I've done is I just printed it off and then you can see that I've actually put rows of double stick tape on there. So that way, as I use them, I can just cut off the pieces that I want. And if the verse starts over here, which is B, forgiving, then I can cut those out and, and put them together. So that's why I just leave them there until I'm ready to use those. All right, what else is in here? Oh, these are from washi tape. I've got a, ro a whole roll of this. Is it over here? Did I put that one away? Um, yep, I've put that one away. But all I did was took rolls of a roll of washi tape with words on it and just put it down on cardstock. And then I cut them out as I need them. So that's what that is. Um, this... Oh, this is, this is kind of funny what I did here. Um, I bought some, a few of Tim Holtz's um, word books. And so the ones that I bought, I, was I wasn't using them. I couldn't use them because once I used them, they'd be gone, which is stupid. They're cheap enough, they're inexpensive enough that I can buy them, but I don't know why I just, I can't use them. So I have a hard time. So what I did to get myself to use them is I made copies of them. And so now I'm going through and, and I just make photocopies of them. And then I put double stick tape on the back and I'm cutting them off and using them. So this one, I did that with the double stick tape on the back. But first what I did was I did a boo-boo. <laughs> I had some, some double stick um, acetate or no, it was one-sided sticky acetate. And so, and I was meaning, I forget how I did that. But anyways, I was trying to put the sticky on the back, but I did and I put it on the front. But then I thought, that's okay. So, oh, it was double stick paper is what it was. 
So then I just had to take a piece of acetate and lay it on top of that because I thought, all right, to, in order to save the words, then I put acetate on top. And that worked. So now they're glossy and they have double stick tape on the back and I can just cut them apart as I need them. So that's where I got all of these. So I know I don't sell them or anything. I, I just use them for my own personal use and do, they're donated to the nursing homes. All right, and these are all stamped. These are stamped verses that I just stamped on, or words, so that's what that is. This is a sheet of, um, it's the same thing, if you boil a funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. Now that's humorous. And that, a girlfriend of mine sent it to me, and I thought that was just so cute. And this is what I have left, and as a matter of fact, I wanna take it downstairs and make a copy of that. So, these, I did a video on these, so you've seen these. Um, these were a great big school border, a bulletin board border. And so this, these were all off of, off of those bulletin boards. So I can use those on cards. Alrighty, what else? I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. These are when I have scrap pieces of paper, then I like to line cards with them. And so I'll stamp on them. So when I pull out a, a stamp, then I just start stamping different, different words on there. So if I'm going to do a dark card, a darker card stock, then that's what these are for. So these have all been actually hand stamped by me on pieces of paper. And that's what these are all for. So that way I can just glue them right on the inside of a, inside of a card. So that's what all those are. All right, so that's why those are in there. These ones were cut off of envelopes. So, and I use my hexagon punch and I just cut those off because I thought they were pretty. That's another stamped word. Um, oh, these are more of my women's, is that what these ones are? No, these are more of the ones <clears throat> that I had printed out. So, and I actually cut them in strips. So the other ones should actually go with that. All right, yeah, these ones here. That's what these are from. So the ones that I actually just printed out myself, however they would print, then that's what those are. All right, so these, these are scriptures and verses. Oh, this came from a really good book. Um, what is her name? A Praying Woman by Stormy O'Martin. I love her book. I've read that book so many times and I've probably given out at least 28 copies of it. So, because it's just an amazing book to read. And so, my first copy that a friend gave me, it was a used copy, it was her copy, and she had gone through and highlighted and, and wrote her notes all through it. I did the same thing, and by the time I was done with it, it was falling apart. So I, I tore it apart. It was falling apart anyways. So I've cut out everything that I could save on any page, and this is what I have left from it. So, and I use those on the inside of cards. All right, whoops, here's some more of just pieces of paper that I've stamped on so that I can insert those inside cards. So those can go over there, all righty. These are hand-stamped labels. So just regular, no, very old, <laughs> very old. I'd have a nervous breakdown, but I don't have time. So very old. So those are stickers that I've created. All righty, what else is in here? Oh my goodness, okay. These are verses from calendars. So when I take the calendars apart and I use the pictures, then I save the verses and I use those inside cards. So there's another idea. Lots of ideas here. All right, these are, these are all ones. Oh, this is the funny bone, the funny bone one and some other words that my friend had sent me and I made copies of them. Some of them came out and some of them didn't. So I'm trying to cut through those ones. So that's what those are. This is, oh, life is better when it's fun. I just stamped that right on there and it's really pretty glossy cardstock. So that'll go on the inside of a card for someone really special just because, <laughs> because I like it. This was actually um, note paper that had, it's really pretty. It's got like, it's lacy looking. And so I stamped verses on it, long and skinny ones, so I can put those on the inside 
of a card off to the side. Let's see, what else? More words and stuff that I, I stamped. Um, more just pieces of paper that I stamped on verses. More just uh, words that I've, or verses that I've stamped on cardstock. These are more words that I've stamped on cardstock and on paper. That's cardstock, this is all paper. So these are from, oh, these are from the inside of cards that I bought a package of cards and they all had the same card in it. So I saved all those. And these are actually birthday. Okay, that's not, but this is. So this actually is in the wrong place. This needs to be over here in my birthday file because any words, any of my words that I have for birthdays, then I like to keep them in here for birthday cards. Alrighty, so this is something that somebody sent me, and it's just kind of interesting. The wage of sin is death. The gift of eternal life, the gift of God is eternal life. So it says life one way and death the other. So I just found that fascinating. What is this? This is in here to use. Don't know what it is. Oh, this is a story. Okay, that's just a neat little one-page story that I can that I actually want to make copies of that again so that I can stick these inside the senior cards in one of these little envelope corners. So that needs to be, because I believe that's my last one, so I need to reprint those ones again. All right, what else is in here? Um, this, a face without freckles is like a night without stars. I'm not sure where that came from. I cut it out from something. This is from a tea box. That's just stamped on paper, stamped on paper, stamped on paper, stamped on papers, stamped on papers. There's another bigger piece. Those are just smaller ones. More, more that I just stamped, more that I've just stamped. These are all just stamped. These, that's stamped, that's stamped. Okay, this one says, oh, and I don't know where that came from. You're totally awesome in every way, and that's a sticker, so that was stamped on it. These are just, I don't know where these came from. Oh, this came with a, friendship is a secret. You cannot just wait to share. Friendship is a garden you can cultivate with care. Friendship is an hour spent beneath a shady tree. It's the very gift that life has brought you to me. So that came with something. I don't, maybe a pen. It's probably a pen. This was stamped. This, I'm not sure where this came from, but it's a little scripture verse. So it must have come with either a, a bookmark or a pen or a writing pen or a lapel pen or something. So, and this came out of a magazine. A baby is God's opinion that the world should go on. And this was just stamped. Whoops, we've got some more bigger papers that were stamped. That can go in there. And, oh gosh, this whole lot, I believe. The rest of these look like they are Oh, that came from Stormy O'Martin's book. So that can go back in here. Alrighty. And these are all just stamped on. Stamped on, stamped on. More of those faith steps. So those can go in with those other ones. Um, this came off of an envelope. So here's more of those funny bone sheet that my friend made. And I cut them apart and mounted them on cardstock, more st stamped on cardstock, cardstock, all cardstock, cardstock, more cardstock, whoops, more funny bone. <laughs> I've got quite a few of that funny bone stuff. Okay, and a couple bigger verses, more verses, some more sticker verses, more verses, more stuff st stuck down there. Oh, these are just words that I, that I printed off and then put on my big roll of double stick backing tape. And then I'm just using my exacto knife and cutting cutting out whichever words I want to use as I'm as needed. And these are just stamped on there, just stamped. There, so the rest of these are just stamped. So this actually came from a book. It was a calendar, 
um, affirmation type book. And looks like that's my last one. I haven't seen those in a while, so. All right, so these can all go with these other big words and verses. So there you go. There's the answer to your question. So I've got hand stamped ones, hand stamped on, on stickers, from magazines, from calendars, from printing, um, leftover nice square, square and rectangular pieces of paper that I've cut off, um, bulletin boards. So lots of different things. So there you go. I hope that answers the question that you were looking for. And I appreciate your, your inquiries and asking for videos. So thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.